Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. If you have already been a subscriber to my channel, which by the way, if you want to subscribe, I would very much appreciate it. We're getting pretty close to a thousand subscribers, which I never really expected to ever hit with this channel. But anyway, if you have been a subscriber already, then you'll have seen my last video that I posted about a week ago, where I went through all of my physical Nintendo Switch games, like all of the physical copies that I own. I mentioned that I might also film like a digital version as well, because I have a lot of digital games. So here we are. That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you all of the digital games that I own on my my Nintendo Switch, it's quite a lot. Um, I don't think it came across in my previous video because I got a lot of comments saying, why don't you have this game? I would recommend this game. And like, guys, it was just my physical game collection. I have a lot more digitally. <laughs> also got some comments saying like, why do you have so many Pokemon games? It's because I don't buy every game physically. Like I want to make that clear, but I'm going to show you guys what like uh, digital digital games I own. Like I said in my last video, I do kind of prefer digital games overall. Um, it's just because I can get them immediately. Like there's Nintendo eShop sales that I quite often make use of and you can immediately get the new game that's released or whatever and just have it with you always so i really like the convenience of it which is why i don't buy too many physical games usually more for like a collector perspective and the only reason i don't own a physical copy of like one of my favorite games animal crossing new horizons is because i still had a what do you say like a, a discount thing i had like a card with money on it for the Nintendo eShop and that's what I used to buy the Animal Crossing game and I also wanted immediate access to it so that's why I don't own a physical copy which that's my only sort of regret because I like to own physical copies of games I really love but you know it is what it is so this is gonna be kind of a weird video because I need to show you guys like my switch which means we're gonna switch over to the perspective that you see when I'm streaming on Twitch as well if you don't know I do also stream on Twitch if you want to follow me there currently we're playing a lot of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Animal Crossing uh, it's tons of fun I will leave a link down below I'm gonna have to show you guys that in sort of my streaming mode so the sound is also gonna be different because I'll be talking on my microphone and everything that's why you might hear like a difference in sound but yeah I'm gonna dive into it and show you guys all of the digital games that I own tell you whether I like them or not kind of what they're about and uh that's gonna be this video. I hope you'll enjoy. All right, here we are, guys. I switched um, <laughs> scenes, basically, so I can show you all of the games on my Switch. So yeah, I've already opened it up here. Um, I guess we're gonna sort it by most recently played. Or should we sort it by title? I think longest total playtime. That's gonna be the most fun because I'll show you guys like basically just which games I'm playing a lot. So we're gonna go the other way around and we're gonna start with the games that apparently I've played the least <laughs> and then I can show you. I hope the music isn't too distracting. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit. These are all the games I own. So the first one is Atelier. I think that's how you pronounce that. Aisha. Yeah, this is an Atelier game. This is my first one but I've only played a really really little bit. When I started playing it at the time I was enjoying it but because of the sort of more complicated alchemy system where you need to like collect and craft a lot and make like potions and stuff. I never really got that far into it i i was just like this is not the game for me at this moment basically just felt like i put it down and would pick it back up later i definitely do want to pick it back up later and also try the more recent one i think with risa because they look like so much fun and i think i would really enjoy them i just need to be in the right mindset for it and the same goes for story of seasons pioneers of olive town when i played it i really enjoyed it this is like quite different i would say from aisha because the atelier series are more like anime-ish games i guess and these ones um if you're not familiar with it story of seasons is basically the better continuation of harvest moon like the old harvest moon games back in the day there was some like you know trouble within the company and they split up and the people that are now making harvest moon i think we can all see it in quality are not the original creators the original creators are continuing the spirit of harvest moon in story of seasons and yeah when i first picked up uh, pioneers of olive town i was really enjoying myself but then i heard that there would be an update which would improve a lot of like quality of uh live stuff so i was like oh i pulled it down until that update comes and I haven't picked it back up yet. But again, it's another one that I will soon. It's just a super cute like farming game. You know, my one of my favorite games, Stardew Valley, was inspired by games such as Harvest Moon. And it is something I really enjoy. And then the next one, I actually, it's kind of bad. I own a copy of Skyrim both on the Switch and on my PC. I first got it on the Switch because I thought 
well, I don't think I even had a PC at the time. Or maybe I did, but I was like, I want to play this handheld. And I've played about 10 hours. I really enjoyed my time, but it was another one where I felt like I needed more time to focus on it. This is, you're, you're gonna see this with a lot of games that are more in the lower part of this. Like, I, I do really want to play them. I enjoyed them. I just haven't really prioritized them or made the time for them yet. Because there's so many games I want to play. I think Skyrim is a very classic one. You, you guys probably are familiar with it. You know, it's set in the Elder Scrolls world. It's kind of like a more viking norse inspired fantasy-ish world it's tons of fun and i know i can sink hours into that game then another one that i've tried to play three separate times but couldn't really get into is undertale but i definitely want to and this is a game that i'm now saving for stream for sure i'm gonna stream my playthrough of this game possibly after i finish my playthrough of breath of the wild which is it's probably gonna take me a couple more weeks at the pace that i'm going through it right now but yeah if you want to see me play this if you are a fan of undertale and would like to see me experience it for the first time uh, definitely keep an eye out for my Twitch because I will be doing that. I might also play some of these games for YouTube videos if you guys would prefer that. If you're not really into Switch and would prefer me uh, playing some games for YouTube, that's also a possibility. Just let me know your suggestions. I'm very open to them. But Undertale is, it's like a cult classic. Like so many people, like the fan base loves it. Can do like multiple playthroughs, I think, and try to get a different outcome. Then we have a game that I did, I think, play for at least 20 hours i don't know i don't want to go back and see my playtime right now <laughs> but it's xenoblade chronicles 2 i did enjoy it at the time i think and this is super personal the reason that i put it down was because it was just started playing it was really getting into it when one of my cats passed away and now i kind of associate that bad time with this game which kind of sucks so i just want to restart this game and also learn a little bit better about the combat because that was a really difficult part to me um but it's been recommended to me by so many people love this and and I really did enjoy my time when I first started playing it. So I do want to get back into it. But I think I just need to restart it and refresh my associations with it, if that makes sense. I don't know if anyone else has that. But if there's a certain time, can be good or bad, and you pick up some form of media, it could be like watching a show, reading a book, playing a game, you'll associate that time with that thing, if that makes sense. Then another one that I liked, but I never got into it because I was had better games that gave me this <laughs> is Dragon Quest Builders. Um, again, this might be something I might pick up, but I do also own Minecraft and Animal Crossing and other farming building games. So this never really sucked me in. And yeah, I, I this is, I think, one of the games that I kind of regret getting because I didn't really get my value out of it, didn't enjoy it as much. But it's another one that I do want to give another try. Um, also, I played this last, I think, <laughs> years ago so i think it's only fair to give it another try at this point and see what i think of it now but yeah it is i think a very minecraft inspired one also i've never played the like rpg version of these dragon quest games where you're not like a chibi character but actually going through the story and i might be interested in that because it looks pretty good then we have Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch i played this i had a phase where i played this a lot summer of 2020 I want to say I really liked it, but I never finished it and I do want to finish it. It's super cute I think the art style is done by the same people that also create a lot of Ghibli movies and I absolutely love that It definitely gives up those vibes. You have awesome like cutscenes that are more like a movie So if any of that sounds interesting to you, I would recommend this one. I did really enjoy it It's just one of those cases where I put it down for a while and then never really got back to picking it up But I will at one point i promise <laughs> then these are just demos so i actually have never gotten around to playing the spirit fire demo this one has been recommended to me a lot because a lot of like cozy gamers absolutely love this one and i think i would really enjoy it too but i've also heard it's a bit sad and i'm really really bad with sad media i don't want to cry and i feel like this game is going to make me cry but it might be good you know so i do want to play it at some point i promise i just need to get some courage and actually do it and then this one i also have not played it was on sale and i wasn't sure if i wanted to get it i saw it on sale in the nintendo eShop, so i was like let me download the demo and that was months ago and i have not even i don't think i've tried the demo i'm not sure i can't remember anyway then we have another game that i have not picked up it's really really bad it was on sale and it looked so cute it's called garden story and i think you play as like a little grape and it's more rpg so there there is quite a lot of fighting and stuff it's not like more you know by the looks of it you would say maybe it's more a cozy farming one but i'm pretty sure it is more rpg fighting this is again maybe something i'll pick up for a video on youtube or stream to kind of motivate me but i think it'll be a lot of fun to also stream or make a youtube video of and yeah it looks super cute 
Now we have my time at Porsche, which I actually really liked. I think I've played for about 50 or 60 hours of this game. Unfortunately, it is a bit buggy on the Switch, and I'm pretty sure the developers are no longer looking into fixing that, which that is unfortunate. I've heard that it's a lot like it runs a lot better on PC, but it's not really worth it to me. The bugs don't bother me that much to get it also on PC. And I've also seen that the developers are now developing my time at Sandrock, which looks cute. And I'm guessing we'll have a lot of like quality of life updates and not as, as many of these bugs. But yeah, this is just a really fun, again, you know, farming game. Uh, you can also do some combat and sort of like mining stuff and you can marry people. And I really enjoyed my time with this. I really enjoyed my time in Portia <laughs> and uh, I do want to continue it because I've never gotten like to end game stuff yet um, and I have like two or three save files. <laughs> then we have one that was just free and I've picked it up once or twice. It's Super Kirby Clash. You just fight as like a little Kirby and it was okay. Nothing too special. I would say just a bit of like hack and smash stuff and I think it's also like time catered might have micro currency i have no clue i've only played it for like an hour then we have one that i bought for like one euro and i just kind of forgot that i own to be honest i'm now seeing it i'm like oh fuck i own this game <laughs> i did not realize it's called cattails and it's sort of like a really simple version of stardew valley but your cats it's kind of how i would describe it and i enjoyed it but i didn't love it it was only like one or two euros when i got it on sale so it's okay if i don't love it because it was so cheap but i need to play it more to see whether i really really like it i was kind of confused i think i was lost in the in the country in the cattails country somewhere and I, I couldn't figure it out then we have another demo that i played but i didn't really enjoy it i'm not gonna get this game i don't think it's called Earthlock. i think it was like four euros it just wasn't really worth it to me because i couldn't really see myself playing it. Here we have another digital one. It's Overcooked 2. Um, I got this on sale again. I haven't played it enough, but it's definitely more fun. I don't want to say like mindless, but there's, you know, no real like hard gameplay or story or whatever. And I think this one is more fun to do with other people, which is why I didn't really get into it by myself. But basically you're just, you know, trying to cook really quickly and there's little challenges to do and there is a little story. I enjoyed my time with it, but I think it would be so much more fun to play with someone else. And I don't really have someone else to play this with because yeah, the only IRL person I know that likes to play on the Nintendo Switch is my boyfriend and he is not interested in this so that's also why i haven't played that much moonlighter is a lot of fun um this is like it's a sort of like dungeon crawler and then you run a shop during the day so basically you go out into the dungeons at night and try to find good stuff that you can then sell during the day and the graphics look really really cute the, the art style is super cute yeah i haven't really gotten very far into it yet just because i've been prioritizing other games but this one is fun there's a fun little mechanic that i am immediately cheating with <laughs> And looking up guides but you don't know how much something sells for you have to set the price yourself which i think is a really interesting thing to do and i looked up guides to see what the best selling thing is but it's a lot of fun this game's a lot of fun and i want to play it more then we have another game that i definitely want to play more it's grow song of the ever tree again another one that i bought on sale almost all of my digital games are ones that i bought on sale this one is another super cute farming building ish game but i have have not played a ton of this because unfortunately this is another one of those where i got it at the bad time i got it when i got covid so i was really sick with covid and didn't really get far into it <laughs> so i just need to restart oh we're not gonna restart that right now i bumped into my desk with my pro controller but yeah this is one that i just need to restart and associate with a better time and then I think I'll have more fun. But what I've seen of it so far, it looks incredibly cute. So, and there's character customization, which I also really, really love. Then we have another one that I would highly recommend if it is on sale. It's called Best Friend Forever. And it's like a dating simulator kind of thing, but with dogs, like you're not dating the dogs. You get to adopt a dog or a raccoon. I really wanted to go for the raccoon. It's called Garbage. This game is really, really funny too. It has a lot of fun humor it's very diverse as well like the bachelors that you can choose from are super diverse um you can be gay too which i always really 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 appreciate and i know a lot of people will and yeah it's also really about your dog like you're taking care of your dog and you can pick out activities to do with your dog and then you can pick out like dating act activities and i've really enjoyed it again it's another one that's sort of more casual and I, I put it down for a little while to really grind into you know pokemon animal crossing zelda <laughs> but i'll get back to it eventually i would really recommend it especially when it's on sale then we have another one no that's a physical one never mind next one <laughs> i've already talked about two point hospital in my other video we have minecraft which i don't know why it's saying longest 
play time because I definitely feel like I've played like my time of Borsha, I've played way longer than Minecraft. So it just doesn't entirely line up. Also, like I have played these games and I've never played Garden Story. So yeah, the order this is in, it's my switch is a bit confused, I guess. Minecraft, I am a bit confused. I was never a Minecraft kid. I know a lot of people know this game. So I only recently started playing this. I picked this up in December or January and I wasn't really sure what I needed to do. <laughs> so I want to like properly look into how the heck I should play Minecraft. I feel like it's so free that I was kind of confused and also I decided to start it on like peaceful mode and maybe that was a mistake because nothing was happening. I was just like what am I supposed to do? I build a house but it's not a pretty house and I'm like what do I do next? So I definitely need to like get more into that and figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do in this game and this one is one that I might also want to get on PC just to get mods and make it look really really cute. Then another one that I have both on PC as a digital copy on my Switch and it was my second ever Switch game in Stardew Valley. I love it so hecking much. I've talked about this a lot. I have a whole video up about the mods that I'm currently using on my PC version. Obviously the Switch one I cannot be modded. I don't know if it can if you have a spicy Switch but I just have a regular old Switch. I just play vanilla game but it's so so good uh if you haven't picked up this game yet please do please do please do please do i love this game okay we're down to the last two digital games that i have on here and so now we have pokemon legends arceus which i have both a physical and a digital copy of but this is my copy that i'm playing that's my digital version so good so good if you haven't played this yet you're missing out <laughs> no it depends but it's not a like traditional pokemon game that you might be used to at all it's open world RPG, amazing. Yeah, I love it so much. Don't let the graphics deter you either. Like, they don't look that great, but this game is really, really great. And then, obviously, we have my most played game, Animal Crossing New Horizons, which I also have digitally. I transferred over my older island that I started out with, my original island, to my boyfriend's Switch, but with my own account because. Yeah, it was on my own account, so it's saved there and I can still play it on his Switch if I want to. And I started a new island on my own Switch and I'm mainly playing it on stream, but also I'm kind of cheekily playing it a lot off stream too. But I'll be streaming that for the, you know, coming weeks for sure. When I'm playing Animal Crossing, I'll be streaming my new island, Oat Milk. And yeah, it's going to be a very cute spring island. We have lots of cute villagers on there. Animal Crossing will just forever have my heart. I think it will forever be my favorite game or like a sandbox-ish game. Like there's more of a decorating, building your island aspect. You can make it look really, really pretty, but you can also, you know, bond with your villagers. You can go fish and donate those fish to the museum and catch bugs and just build and grow your island. Sort of like build a community. So yeah, that's it for all of my digital games. I definitely have a lot more on my wish list that I definitely want to get, but you know, there's still quite a lot in here that I haven't really given a good chance let me go and switch over oh my sub goal was on here i'm so sorry guys i didn't really realize that i'm filming for sure on my uh <laughs> Twitch setup and I didn't really adjust it for YouTube. I'm so sorry, but just ignore that. But yeah, that's it really. I'm trying not to buy too many more games until I finished a couple of these or at least played them a decent amount. So yeah, that's what I'm going to focus on now. And again, I think YouTube and Twitch are really going to help me get through all of these games because I can do it sort of with you and be more motivated to get through them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have out of like any of the games that I've mentioned right now, if you would really like me to pick up a certain one, I would love to know it because I think it will motivate me more. Also, if you would like you know, if you have any suggestions for future videos or any games you would like to see me play, I would love, love, love to know that. I can definitely use your feedback. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.